Hello, Mastalino students! Welcome to Mastalino Classroom. Ngayong araw, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa well-defined sets. We'll start with this simple activity. Consider the attribute pieces inside the box. Ang attribute pieces ay mga geometric models na mayroong iba't ibang hugis, laki, at kulay. I will form a group or set of attribute pieces and you are going to give a name for each group or set based on their similarities, okay? Let's have the first one. Correct! It's a group or set of triangles. Let's proceed to the next. Right! It's a group or set of small attribute pieces. And for the third one, Okay, it's a group or set of red attribute pieces. Lastly, Good, it's a group or set of green diamonds. In our activity, Lagi nating binabanggit ang salitang set. What is a set? It's just a group or collection of objects. Usually, it is named by a capital letter. For example, for the set of triangles, we can name it as set A. And for the set of small attribute pieces, we can name it as set B. Anything that belongs to the set is called a member or element of a set. Basically, ang member o element ng isang set ay pwedeng kahit ano. Numbers, letters, symbols, objects, names, things, etc. For instance, in set A, set of triangles, we say that this is an element of set A. Or this one, since both are triangles. The symbol used to denote this relation is the Greek letter epsilon and can be read as is an element of. But this shape is not an element of A. We just put a slash to indicate that the given object is not an element of the set. Let's try on this. Consider the two given sets below. Fill in each blank with the symbol epsilon or slashed epsilon. In answering this one, magiging mas madali kung ililista muna natin lahat ng elements ni set A at ni set B. So for set A, which is composed of even numbers between 0 and 10, we have 2, 4, 6, and 8. For set B, which contains the letters of the English alphabet between C and J, we have D, E, F, G, H, and I. Dahil alam na natin ang mga elements ng dalawang sets, we are now ready to answer. For number 1, 2 is an element of set A. Number 2, 5 is not an element of set A. Number 3, 12 is not an element of set A. Number 4, the letter B is not an element of set B. Number 5, the letter G is an element of set B. And for number 6, the letter E is an element of set B. Now, there are times it's difficult to determine whether an object belongs to the set or not. Let's have these two sets. For the first one, the set of your classmates. You can readily tell whether a person belongs to that set or not. Ang pagiging classmate o hindi ng isang tao ay hindi nakailangan pagdebatehan. 
In other words, hindi ito nakadepende sa opinion ng isang tao. So, the set is said to be well-defined. For the second one, the set of kind persons in Hadith City, you cannot readily tell whether a person belongs to that set or not. Ang pagiging kind ng isang tao ay maaari pang pagdebatehan. In other words, ito ay nakadepende sa opinion ng isang tao. Maaari kong sabihin na siya ay isang kind person, pero maaaring sa iyo ay hindi. It now becomes difficult to determine whether that person really belongs to the set or not. So, the set is not well defined. In mathematics, we only consider sets that are well defined. To understand further, let's try this one. State whether the collection is a well-defined set or not. Let's discuss the answers. For number one, it is obviously well-defined because one knows exactly which colors belong to the set. For number two, it is not well-defined because the characteristic being a great singer depends on the perception standards of every individual. So, one does not know exactly who among the singers belong to the set. And for number three, it is well-defined because one knows exactly which names belong to the set. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you're done. That's all for today class. Goodbye!